Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para tunungan kayo sa mga problema niya sa math. And for today sa video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa solving real life problems involving functions. Alam ko maraming request nito sa comment section pero mga anak pasensya na ha, hindi ko agad nagawa. Last week kasi may nangyaring hindi maganda na hindi ako makapag-record ng dire-diretso and kailangan kong unahin yung, alam niyo na yung mga kapatid niyo sa lower grade kaya hindi ko talaga hindi talaga ako nakapag-focus ngayon sa grade 11 but this week let's try na makahabol tayo ha pero bago ko simulan ang video tutorial na ito siguraduhin na muna ang mga anak ko na napindot niyo na diyan ang like button oh pindutin na at syempre kung bago pa lang kayo sa aming YouTube channel pindutin mo na rin diyan ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, we have this one, jeepney or tricycle. Read and analyze the problem below. Mark is a high school student who commutes from school, uh, from home to school, which is 10 kilometers apart. There are two modes of transportation. The first one is through jeep and the other one is through tricycle. In riding a jeepney, the fare charge is 12 pesos for the first 4 kilometer travel. And 0.50 for each additional kilometer. So, mag-a-add siya ng, zero, ah, ng 50 cents for every additional kilometer. Meanwhile, in riding a tricycle, the fare would be 13 pesos for the first kilometer travel and 1 pesos for each additional kilometer. Now, will you help Mark analyze the situation? We have the following questions. If you are Mark and decided to ride a jeepney, how much will be your fare? Hint, you may use the table below to compute for the fare, okay? So, according to our problem, pag jeepney daw yung sinakyan niya, may charge siya na 12 pesos per four k first 4 kilometers. And then, additional 50 cents, okay, for the additional kilometers. So, kung uh, ang kilometers ay 0 to 4, you have 12. Now, pag nag-5 siya, additional 50 cents na, di ba? O, baba ko to. So, this will be 12.50. So, 12.50 plus a 50, that will be 13, di ba? And then, 13 times a uh, plus 0.50, that will be 13.50. And then, 13.50 plus 0.50, that will be how many? 14. And then, 14, ayan, Plus 0.50, that will be 14.50. And then, dahil 10 kilometers siya, dapat aabot ka pang 10, ha? So, 14.50 plus 0.50, you will have 15. So, magkano ang fare niya? That is 15 pesos. Okay, now, if you decided to ride a tricycle, how much will be your fare. So, hint, you may use the strategy in number 2. So, gayahin lang natin yung uh, strategy natin dito sa number 1 para dito sa number 2. So, at uh, the first kilometer, tingnan nyo kung babalikan ninyo, 13 pesos siya for first kilometer. And then, for the additional, you have 1. Okay? So, 13. So, pag 2 kil kilometers na siya, plus 1 na. So, this is uh, 14. And then, 14 plus 1, you have 15. 15 plus 1, you have 16. 16 plus 1, you have 17. 17 plus 1, you have 18. 18 plus 1, you have 19. 19 plus 1, you have 20. And then, 20 plus 1, you have 21. And then, 21 plus 1, you have 22. So, ibig sabihin... Ang fare na ay 22 pesos for the tricycle, ha? For number 3, what characteristics does Mark possess if he choose to ride a, jeep, a jeepney? Okay, so Mark is a thrifty person. O, ba matipid siya. Kung sa jeep siya, sasakay kasi mas mura. Is there any advantage in riding a jeepney instead of tricycle or riding a tricycle instead of a, jeep, a jeepney? What would it be? O, kayo ha, ano yung sagot nyo dyan? Kasi itong mga bagay na ito, kaya kaya nyo na siyang sagutan. Pero in my case, kung ako ang sasagutan, ang sasagot dito ay, eto yung sasagot ko, you can save more in riding 
ay jeep ko. Diba? Makakapag, uh, makakatipid ka kasi, kaya makakapag-save ka kapag dun ka sa jeep sumakay. Now, if you, if you are marked, which between the two modes of transportation will you choose? Why? So, I will choose jeepney, ha? Because, what? The fare is low. Okay? So, and I can save more money with it. Okay? Mas makakasave ka kasi ng money. Money with it. Okay? Baker's Club is trying to raise funds by selling premium chocolate chip cookies in a school fair. The variable cost to make each cookie is 18 pesos and it is being sold for 28 pesos. So far, the organization has already shelled out 650 for the cookie sale. Now, find the profit function p of x where x represents the number of cookies are sold and then we have our hint here profit is equal to total revenue minus minus total cost and then total revenue is equal to price per unit times the quantity sold and then yung total cost natin is the total variable cost plus the fixed cost okay so yung mga yan ang kailangan natin since profit yung pinag-uusapan natin, we have their P of X. Okay, magkana ba natin binibenta yon Para makuha natin yung uh, total revenue, we have their, binibenta natin siya ng 28. O, dito, 28 siya. So, 28, tapos kung ilan yung mabibenta natin, 28X. Or kahit wala ng parenthesis, ha? 28X na lang para diretsyo na. Okay? And then, minus, okay, magkano ba yung total variable cost natin? So, bawat isang cookie, 18 pesos yung gastos natin dyan. So, 18x. Okay? And then, ima-minus din natin dun sa total kung magkano ba yung fixed cost. And that is 650. So, if we are going to simplify this one, you have 28 minus 18, that is 10 x minus 650. So, this is now our P of x. Okay. Sana naintindihan. Now, if 180 cookies were sold, how much is the total profit? O, paano daw kung 180 ang ating nabenta? Magkano ang ating magiging profit? So, let's solve. So, if we have that, isasolve natin yung profit which is P of x. And, da and dahil lang x natin dito ay 180, then we put 180 dito, ha? So, P of 180 is equal to uh, 10 times 180 minus 650. So, 10 times 180 is 1,800. Minus 650, pag may minus yan, you will have 1,150. Pesos. Okay? So, ang ating P of 180 or ang profit natin pag nagbenta tayo ng 180 pieces ng cookies ay 1,150. Now, how many cookies must be made and sold to break even? So, may hint tayo dito. So, yung P of X daw natin, 0. So, P of X is equal to, ano, yung, ano natin, function 10 of X minus... 650. Tapos, ito daw magiging 0. 0 is equal to 10x minus 650. To solve for that, lipat mo si 650 dito. Negative magiging positive. 650 is equal to 10x. So, divide by 10. Divide by 10. O, ano nga yung value ng x mo? x is equal to 650 divided by 10. That is 65. So, ibig sabihin, dapat bumenta ka ng 65 cookies okay, para break even lang siya. Now, how many cookies should be sold to gain a profit of 350 pesos? So, eto na yung profit natin. Eto na ngayon yung P of X natin. Ha? So, 350 is equal to 10X minus 650. Ilipat lang to dito, so you will have 350 plus 650 equals 10x. Okay, what is 350 plus 650? That is 1,000 equals to 10x. Divide nyo lang yan para x na lang. x equals to 1,000 divided by 10, that is 100. Okay, so you should have 100 
<laughs> Bakit 1,000? Mga anak, pansensya na minsan iba ata yung nasusulat ko sa sinasabi ko. So, that is 100 cookies. You have to sell 100 cookies para magkaroon ka ng profit na 350 pesos. Okay, so for our next problem, okay, we have this one, Baker's Nook. Maria just opened a bakery along Mabagal Avenue which sells a fresh and seimada. The selling price of that one is 18 pesos per and seimada. So, yung cost niya ay 18 pesos bawat isa. Pero, ang cost of making the and seimada is 6 pesos. And then, the daily operating expenses is 720 pesos. Now, for letter A, we have to find for the profit function, where P of X, oh no, we, when we have P of X, where X is represent the number of and say Mada sold. Okay? <laughs> so, pasensya na. So, we have there, P of X is equal to, so, magkano niya binibenta? Bawat isa, 18. X. Magkano yung cost? Bawat isa, that's uh, 6. So, minus 6 X. So, kung ilan yun, times 6 yun yung gasto sa kanya. Okay, and then yung ating, uh, ito constant to eh, yung 720 na bawat araw. Okay, then simplify natin, 18x minus 6x, that's 12x minus 720. So, this is our P of x now. Okay, now the question, if 100 and say mada were sold, what is the total profit? So, yung X natin is equal to 100 kasi yun yung ilang pieces yung nabenta. So, P of 100 is equal to 12 times 100 minus 720. So, what is 12 times 100? That's 1,200 minus 720. So, ang profit mo ay 480 pesos. So, pag nakabenta ka ng 100 na ensaymada, meron kang tubong 480 pesos. Now, for letter C, how many ensaymada must be made and O, oh, must be made and sold to break even. O, oh, kanina may example na tayo doon, di ba? Yung P of X natin magiging 0. So, if we have P of X is equal to 12X minus 720, magiging break even sila if the value of this one is 0. Walang tinubo, okay? So, 12X minus 720. Okay, and then transpose yung negative 70, that will be positive 720 is equal to 12x. Kailangan malaman natin yung value ni x, so you divide it by 12. O cancel, cancel. So, x is equal to, when you divide 700 by 12, that will be 60. Okay, so you have to uh, sell 60. And say mada para maging break even lang. Ha? Hindi luge pero hindi naman din tumubo. Okay, now how many and say mada should be sold to gain a profit of 600? So, ibig sabihin, yung P of X natin will be 600 is equal to 12X minus 720. Lipat to doon. So, 600 plus 720 is equal to 12X. O, what is 600 plus... 720, that is 1,320 equals to 12x. Divide by 12, divide by 12. So, your x, kung i-divide nyo yan, that's 110. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, dapat maka 110 pieces of ensaymada ka para ka kumita ng 600 pesos. Okay, now for independent... Assessment number two, hello. So, a certain cell phone company offers a plan that costs 1,200 uh, per month. Okay. And then, the plan includes 180 free minutes of calls and charges 7 pesos for each additional minute usage. Now, find the monthly cost fun uh, function C of X where X represents the number of minutes used. Okay. So, paano ba gagawin natin dito, mga anak ko? O, check natin, ha? Ito kasi ay piecewise to we, eh, ba? Kasi nga, pe, may, meron ka pang additional. Kung ma -re recall nyo yung ginagawa natin sa piecewise natin. So, we have here C of X. Sorry, paano ba isulat yun? So, we have C of X. And then, we have there 
1,200 siya if ang x mo, yung, which is x represented the, ano ha, the minutes. So, kung ang x mo ay less than or equal to 180. Okay? Ngayon, pag lumampas na siya ng 180, ano nang mangyayari? So, 1, 2, plus, okay, 7 times, ilan yon X, kung lalagpas ka ng 180 ha, X minus 180, okay, if ang X mo ay greater than uh, 180. So, ito yung ating function dyan. Okay, now, how much is the monthly cost incurred if the owner used 180 minutes of call? Okay, dahil nga, the plan includes 180 free minutes of call and that is 1, 2. And according to this one, diba sa atin, 1, 2 siya if our x is less than or equal to 180. So, this is 1,200. Now, how much is the monthly cost of the plan if the owner used 300 minutes of call? So, hindi ka dito titingin, ha? Dito ka titingin sa pangalawa. Sorry. Dito sa pangalawa. Kasi greater than 180 na yung minutes of call natin. So, that will be 1,200 plus 7, okay, times 300 minus 180. Hindi yung 300 yung itatimes, itatimes mo sa 7, ha? Kasi yung exceeding lang yung kailangang itimes mo sa kanya. So, we have C of X to, ha? Okay, so 1, 2, plus 300 minus 180, that is 120. Tama. So, 7 times 120. So, 1, 2 plus uh, 7 times 120, that is 840. Adding this, 1, 2 plus 840, 0, 4, 10, carry 1. Okay. So, ang babayaran niya, Nung buwan na yon kapag naka 300 minutes of call siya, is 2,040. Okay? For the last one, independent assessment number 2 connected, CAT-TV, CAT-TV or CATV Rizal costs 2,500 a month, which also includes 15 uh, GB, gigabytes of data month data monthly. If charges, it charges 80 pesos for each additional gigabyte. So, nag-charge siya ng 80 pesos. Find the monthly cost incurred if the owner use 45 gigabytes of monthly data. Okay? So, if I, uh, gagawin natin itong equation, so, we will have P of X is equal to 25 siya if kailan daw, if our x is less than or equal to 15. Kasi, yun yung naka-include sa plan niya. Now, 25 siya plus, magano, 80 times x minus yung 15 na dapat na magamit niya lang. Okay, if our x is greater than 15. Okay? Now, dahil ito ay greater than 15, 45 nga siya, we use the second one, this one. So, our P of X is equal to 2,500. Ah, no. Ilagay na natin yung 45 dito. Kasi 45 na yung X natin. Yung sa taas ba? Nilagay ko ba? So, ito, hindi na siya P of X. 300 na. Kasi sinabstitute na natin pala. Okay, so this is also anto, P of 300. P ba ang gamit o C? C pala. Sorry, wait lang for a while. So we have C of 300. And then let's go back to this one. So plus 80, ang X natin ay 45 minus 15. Okay, 2,500 plus 80 times what is 45 minus 15, that's 30. And then, 2,500 plus 80 times 30 is 2,400. Okay, and then add it all, so you will have 4,000 
900 pesos. At kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito at naintindihan nyo kung ano ang gagawin ninyo dyan sa mga mozo nyo, please comment yan sa ating comment section ha. Mga anak, please help me up this video by leaving a comment. Malaking tulong yon para maapit ang video na to at makita din siya ng iba. And don't forget to share this to your classmates kasi alam ko maraming nahihirapan na kailangan ng guide. Huwag ipagkait sa kanila and please so follow our Facebook page Love Math TV. Pabisit naman dito mga anak ha. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!